The Phoenix Festival is going to be held in the Abbey Grounds in Cirencester on the 29th and 30th of June this year. Um, and obviously it's going to be completely free to enter. Um, the Phoenix Festival is basically run by the Youth Town Council and Claire, John and some other. We, well, we've confirmed some of our lineup. Um, I'd say we've probably got 60% of our lineup. Um, lots of people have come forward and volunteered their services. Um, I mean, Siren Sisters is really a creative hub. There's, when you really look into it, there's so many bands here and so many artists that want to be involved. So it's been quite tricky for us to, to go through um, them all and try and be fair, but we're trying to very meticulously go through them all and be as fair as we possibly can. So there's about 60% there at the moment. Stage is an S5000 saddle span coming from the Amazing Tent Company. Um, they're often seen at places like Womad and Glastonbury, so it's absolutely amazing. My motivation is quite simple. I, I love people uh, and I love music and I like to party. We had the, the Jubilee celebrations last year which were fantastic, fantastically organised and people on the back of that were, you know, they were just, can we have some more? We need some more. So. In Siren Sister there's a big divide between social classes and division between groups and friendships and stuff and we want to put all of that aside like any other town and come together again and have something that we can all be proud of so that it's not only us that are proud of it but the people come in as well because we just want to make it a day that everybody remembers, well, two days that everybody remembers and everybody wants to happen again and again and again and we just want it to be something for everybody. <laughs> Obviously when the young people came to us, well when we worked with them to come up with these ideas, the idea was £15,000 festival <laughs> and that was including the stage, the music, the PA systems, everything. We're now looking at £40,000. So obviously it's gone up dramatically, so trying to source that funding has been probably the biggest challenge for mm -hmm. me. And have we done it? Halfway there, mm -hmm. halfway there now. There is no limit on how many people we need, we just want, we don't want to force anyone into it, but if you want to be involved and you want to do something that's going to be amazing, <coughs> join us, mm -hmm. just come. In the past, these things are incredibly difficult to organise, so what, what needs to happen is that people really need to come together. If you mm -hmm. want to make it happen, yeah. then let's just make it happen and we're trying to make it as simple as possible. If, you've got, if money is your resource, and you've got too much money, which some people have, mm -hmm. <laughs> then if you want to give us money, then that's a simple process. We we've don't got, mind. We've got a bank account, we'll happily do that and we'll spend it very wisely. <laughs> um, if, you're, if your currency isn't money and it's things like time and energy, then we'll accept that very graciously as well. So this is really about stop moaning, let's come together yeah. and let's make this happen. You, you know? can't do anything if you don't help us. So where's the stage going to be, the main okay. stage? Um, as you walk down this section here, yeah. this will all be lit up yeah. with lights in the tree. And then as you continue walking down, you will start to see some of the chalets through the hedges and you'll also see the catering village now as you're entering. Um, and once we get around the corner, the stage should become more visible. I'm afraid there is no free parking available. Um, so it is going to be, the Waterloo is all day. Yeah. But we yes. are also eco-friendly, so you so should Sundays. walk. <laughs> Inflatables over by the big tree. The famous big slit tree, yeah. Along with the first aid tent. Mm -hmm. And then the graffiti wall down by the bandstand and that tree down there. Along Main the stage street. is going to be directly in the middle, hopefully. Yeah. So that we've got all of the scenery around it, all of the abbey. And then it means that we can incorporate different parts of the abbey to have different bits in it as well we've got as much space as we can use. The same as you'd find at a big festival, you know, we'll, there'll be music all day long, there'll be things going on all day. We're trying to incorporate as much as possible to across the generations, so we are looking at choirs to come and perform as well, and bands, brass bands especially, um, and obviously we've got items for the young people to take part in as well as the teenagers, so it should be quite well. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have rock and roll, hip-hop, uh, R&B, blues, brass bands, Violet. choirs, 
Everything. You name it. There's yeah. a beatboxer, you know. What you all... want, we've got it. Yeah, pretty Hopefully. much. Pretty much. Um, I think I'm more excited about seeing like everybody's faces and kind of being like, told you so. The thing I'm most excited about is that first act on stage and that first chord strummed and just having That's a good so... time and hearing the music and you know, having a good time. I'm quite well known around here. People know me for having long hair and headphones. I have said to raise a bit of money, I will shave my hair off. Or she will shave my hair off. I will. Um, for for some money, and that principally <laughs> sum of two thousand pounds, and we're already more than get, that. Getting close to that. Well, two thousand minimum. Yeah. You know, but you know, if we can get ten, <laughs> At that's, least fan 10. that's fantastic. Yeah. So that will be done if I get enough money. And if we get twenty, I'll shave a pattern on your head. <laughs> just shave my head off. Yeah. Just take I'll it all just... off. Headless. Mm -hmm. Might as well for that money. Yeah. Parking in Sirencester, you've got the, all the main car parks, and on Sunday, the majority of them are free. Um, but we are going to encourage most people to walk because this is for local people. This whole event is for local people to bring the community back together. So if you can walk, please do. We're trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible. So we've actually gone with a catering firm that supply 100% biodegradable containers for their food. So the forks, the knives, the plates, the napkins, cups, everything are 100% biodegradable that they hand out. Um, we will also be doing our own recycling on site. Obviously there will be small charges for the inflatables that are on offer and there will be donation buckets going around and we're getting commission from the bars that are going to be on site in the catering village and bits like that. So that's how we're going to make some money back on the day. But any money we do make, once all the bills are paid, 20% will be donated to charities. So there'll be 10% going to each. And these guys are going to explain a bit more about the charities that have been chosen. One of the charities that we're using is very, 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 very close to all of us because we set it up and it's basically called Complex Regional Pain Syndrome and it's a charity that I got in contact with Claire to set up with a family member that has the illness and it's very, very rare and the profit will help us get the publicity for it and begin showing the awareness of what the illness is and what it can do to people. The other charity that we're, we're going to help is the Timmy Mason Trust. And uh, Tim, Timmy was a, a little boy who, who died of cancer and his family, it was actually Timmy's wish to help other, other children that have the same illness. So they have set this trust up and their, their dream is to build a house where people can go, you know, if they need to. So excellent work, which we want to help.